Barbara Auto Center. Well, 13 days into the 2014 FIFA World Cup, the focus has been on the unbelievable finishes and the unprecedented levels of scoring. All that changed today, unfortunately, when Luis Suarez of Uruguay appeared to bite Italian defender late in the second half of today's match. 79th minute with Uruguay on the attack. Suarez, he's got a history of biting opponents, gets into it with Giorgia Cellini, appears to take a bite out of the Italian's shoulders. The referee was looking somewhere else. No foul was called. Uruguay ended up scoring a couple minutes later on this play, and they ended up winning the match 1-0. FIFA is now officially investigating. Suarez could be suspended minimum of two games, maximum of two years. More soccer. Greece needed a win over the Ivory Coast to advance in stoppage time. Game tied at one. The cross from Greece intended for Giorgio Samaras. He's brought down in the box. Penalty kick awarded. Questionable call. Samaras, though, he would convert the PK, give Greece the 1-0, 2-1 win. Tough way to lose and be eliminated for Ivory Coast, but a great win for Greece. Well, turning now to the U.S., just two days until their huge match against Germany. A tie or a win, and they move on. A loss, and they could kiss their 2014 World Cup hopes goodbye. Take on Germany Thursday morning at 9 a.m. Both teams could advance with a tie, but former German striker and current U.S. coach Jurgen Klinsmann said both teams are going to go try to win this game outright, that no deal is going to be brokered. We're going to play this game to win it. You know, we are not made for going to a game to go for a tie. You know, it's just not in our, in our DNA, you know, and it's n not even in the DNA of the German side. And the U.S. could lose and advance, but they would need some help from Portugal and Ghana. And just to give you an idea of what Team USA has had to deal with in terms of travel down in Brazil, how about this? No team in the field of 32 has had more strenuous travel activity than the U.S. They're going to cover almost 9,000 miles playing their three games from, flying from their base camp in Sao Paulo. That's a lot of travel, so clearly uh, they could have some tired legs on Thursday. Well, some baseball, former Cabrillo high standout Danny Duffy. He had a tough job tonight scoring off against Clayton Kershaw of the Dodgers, who threw a no-hitter just six days ago. There's Duffy, the left-hander, pitched a great game tonight for the Royals. Five Ks, one earned run in six innings. Kershaw, though, was a little bit better. Eight Ks. Dodgers took the win, 2-0. Duffy gets the loss. And locally, the Foresters just keep on winning. They beat Conejo 8-3. to They're now 16-3 in league, 18-3 overall. They got San Luis Obispo tomorrow at UCSB. Well, quick question. Mm -hmm. Are the bars still packed if the U.S. loses for the next couple weeks? I would assume not as packed. But a lot <laughs> of these other countries, a lot of, a lot of people from Santa Barbara are Brazilian fans okay. and you know, a lot of other fans. So I think it will still be going so on for a So it's wonderful for business. It's I mean, been a lot of fun. Yeah. can't hurt it. All yeah. right. Stay with us. This is News Channel 3 where the news comes first.